it is not a small thing that we're doing. What we're going to do is not necessarily bring out the voices of Juno, but the voices of the ancient ones that have long come and are still here with us right now. Hi, yeah, this is ours. Welcome to our ancestral land. We never relinquish claim to our land. It's important to have a sense of history regarding the community you live in to understand the people who live in the community and what their experiences have been. Visitors coming to Juno often got an in-depth perception on the mining history and very little information with regard to the local clans of the area. Uh, 0 0.2 will be on that one. So that one will have uh, the map on one side and then the interpretive panel on the other side. Let's check them out. All right, <laughs> come on. Juno Voices is an audio walk where a listener can go use their personal device, their phone, at specific signs sprinkled around downtown Juno to hear stories from Juno residents describing their personal life, their personal history here in Juno. We approached finding storytellers through a massive outreach effort, reaching out to diverse groups in the community. We attended meetings at various organizations and asked to be on the agenda. We held story circles at the public libraries and at Northern Light United Church. We made a concerted effort to really reach out to the community so that those who were interested could come forward and share their stories. And then from there, we started to say, what, what really makes uh, a story that really suits this project, that really suits uh, this sign-based audio walk? We want each one, I think, to, to have a narrative. And it doesn't mean that we can't hear other voices pop in, but that there's a journey through each piece. And then stories of the indigenous clans is so critical from the Akwan and the Taku Kwan because they have lived in this place for millennia. And it's so important, it brings that element of authenticity back because you could have many Alaska Natives represented, but they might be from the villages. So we want to make sure that among those Alaska Natives that are represented in this project, that we have the voices of the Akwan and the Takukwan, that we don't miss those voices. One of our focuses became uh, what are the histories that have gone untold and what are the histories that maybe even have been erased or uh, intentionally overshadowed in the dominant narratives of place. I worked on this waterfront for years. My dad worked here, retired. When I started working down there, I can't remember I was 17 or 18, but uh, you could get a job down here working on the ships. Back then they had steamships hmm. when I first started. And then when they came up with that limited entry, I was, I was in the mindset, I said, I'll be damned if they're going to tell me I can't fish. So I fought for my permit. There was a lot of people back then that fought for their permits, and there's a lot of them that didn't get it, too, I think. The people who fished all their lives couldn't get their permits. I mean, so what if my grandfather was old and retired? He earned it. Yeah. So did my Uncle James and 
workers. So we have Butch Lighty's story, which is really a story of navigating colonial racist dynamics in the history of Juno. Uh, early on in the conversation, Butch said, the history of fisheries management in Alaska is a history of theft. He didn't mince words. And then we have stories also that are more kind of mundane, everyday moments for people and stories where their everyday suddenly becomes extraordinary. And I would say that's sort of the category of Stuart Slider's story in Juno Voices. <laughs> but a few hours later, I'm Miss Alaska. Bam. Now let's do the whole speech. There are five other girls here. There are five other girls here. There are four men judging us. I really have no idea what's going on. I really hope that Juno Voices leads to people encountering these signs and these stories and spending time with them on a walk through downtown and then really reflecting on their own sense of place in, in the capital city, in Zantakahini. Um, how is my story a, a part of this kind of tapestry of stories? And, and how do I continue to listen to understand all of the histories that make this place what it is? Gunalchish on ya kusani, ya zanta kahini haki ya tini, ho ho Juno. Welcome to Juno Voices. Gunalchish on ya kusani, noble children of the earth. Thank you for coming to zanta kahini, Juno. We invite you to take a walk with us. 